So, of course, you guys already know that the Fantastic Four is one of the upcoming projects for the MCU whenever they decide to actually get this thing in gear. It seems like it's been taking forever since it's actually been announced, but there has been some some problems in the past 24 hours that a lot of fans are calling out, and that is none other than Mila Kunis as possibly playing Ben Grimm's character, The Thing. Obviously, they would change the name to Ben Grimm, but this has been coming out that Mila Kunis from that 70s show is reportedly in talks to play The Thing, which means The Thing would be gender bend. Oh, crap. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel once again. So things are going down, no pun intended, things are going down um, because, yes, it looks like a lot of reports are going around saying that Mila Kunis from that 70s show, she's been in other things, Jupiter Ascending, not really good, but she was in that Wizard of Oz movie that Sam Raimi directed where she was really good in that. But the rumor is that she is possibly going to be playing Ben Grimm's character, The Thing, which would actually make them take Ben Grimm's character and gender bend him to make the thing a female and this is something that a lot of fans are really upset about and I can understand why fans would be really upset about that now I do just want to kind of go out here and go guys it's a rumor it's a rumor so you got to take this thing with a massive grain of salt that much salt would kill me I have high blood pressure like it would just oh my god I'll be in a hospital but you guys don't care about that do you do you do you but yeah, you got to take this thing with a massive grain of salt because this is only rumor based. And I looked into these rumors to see where this actually came about because last week there was a lot of rumors that she would actually be playing Sue Storm. She would be, be cast as Sue Storm. That was the rumor that Mila Kunis would, would possibly play Sue Storm. I wasn't super thrilled about that. I don't think that Mila Kunis is that strong of an actress. Um, you know, I've seen her in Jupiter Ascending, but to be fair, everybody was bad in Jupiter Ascending. So I really didn't really think much of it when they said, oh, she might be Sue Storm. I'm like, okay, whatever. Adam Driver is reportedly playing Mr. Fantastic Reed Richards. Okay. But well, then the news came out last night about her possibly playing the thing. So I went and I did a little research in it. And the only kind of proof or anything that I can think of that I've looked at was the fact that the the director and the casting director said that they are interviewing basically neutral role for the for the role of the thing that they are looking at both male and female they are not dedicated to one specific gender when it comes to casting the role for ben Grimm and the thing that's pretty much what all the news that i got and then of course people got that news and you know twitter is what twitter is and they kind of ran with that as oh my god they're gender bending the thing and all this stuff and it's the end of the world and it's just you know, you know how the internet is, and look, my stance on this is, for I understand why some people are gonna get mad. I'm not gonna get on here and try to act like I'm like better than anybody that I am standing on this pedestal or whatever that I am better than you, and you have no right to be mad if you don't like it. Don't watch it. Um, I'm not gonna say that at all. A lot of people have different attachments to the characters, right? I understand 100% why people may feel the way they feel, but I also think it also comes down to how you go about expressing yourself. You know, doing like 500 videos on why it's the MCU, I think that that's a little childish. I think you can express yourself different ways, and you're not, I'm not saying you have to be happy about this news. You have the right to talk about it if you feel like, no, this is not what I want. They, they constantly just keep not giving me what I want. I understand that. For me personally, though, if you want to ask me personally about, making the thing a female character i don't personally like that idea and i also feel like when they do race swapping and gender bending i think it's really it comes down to a base by base situation you know when you take a character that a lot of people aren't familiar with and you switch that character's race or gender or sometimes even both then it doesn't really bother me because this is the character that not a lot of people even know of that is going to get exposure so i really don't care what they do with the character for example ghost from ant-man 2 right ghost is a male character and he's appeared in spider-man comics and all kinds of stuff and they made him a 
a female who was black in the movie. Okay, not a lot of people know who Ghost is. I barely know who Ghost is, only because I read Spider-Man. And no, I don't care if they change that character's ethnic background or gender or what. I, I just don't care. And then you see examples like they did with the, the ancient one, you know, making her uh, a white female character. Again, the ancient one, Doctor Strange comics, yes, they have a lot of fans, but it's very, like, a very, 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 very low-tier character. It's not something like a Wonder Woman, Batman, Spider-Man, you know, that cast of characters. I think the thing is beyond that though i think the thing is the character that a lot of people like everybody knows who the thing is we see him battle the incredible hulk right when you think of fantastic four you think of ben Grimm. you think of the big rock monster so i think it's much much different when you go to try to cast and gender bend or race swap that type of character and not to say that you can't because we've seen where they race swapped johnny storm in the fan four stick movie with michael b jordan playing johnny storm and okay the dude is no longer white. That doesn't. That's not what made the movie bad. The movie was bad because the movie just was bad. You know, it was just a bad movie. But with that said, it all comes down to situation by situation. It's a base by base situation. Okay, and I'm not saying that we, we, we need to sit on our hands and not say anything. Everybody has the right to express how they feel, and I feel like the best way to do that is by expressing how you feel if you are dissatisfied with your wallet, right? If you don't like something, you have the right to say, I am not going to see this. But what you do not have the right to do is harass and criticize people. That's what you don't have the right to do. But it's a very, very sticky situation, guys. Um, I mean, if this was... Four or five years ago, I would be like, oh, my God, what are they doing? Blah, blah, blah. And I wish I could be that person because I know a lot of you guys want me to be that person. I can't be that person because at the end of the day, there's so much bad stuff going on right there outside. And for us to get upset about a movie that we have a choice to watch or not watch seems a little silly to me. I don't know, guys. I don't know. I'm getting I'm getting old. I'm just getting old, guys. I'm getting old. But I want to know what you guys think. How do you feel about Ben Grimm possibly being casted as a female character with Mil Kunis possibly playing the role? Leave those comments in the comment box below. I appreciate each and every one of you guys all so very much. Even all the people that hate my guts, I still love you too. Also, the newest episode of Storms Live is now up on Spotify and Amazon Music. The link is in the description box if you guys want to go download the latest episode from last night. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Stay safe out there. Have a good day.